Hey guys, Dan from Devastation here, and we're gonna do something different today. We're thinking about it, and we haven't done a video. We wanted to do something fun. Uh, so we looked around, and I tried to resist. I swear I tried to resist. God help me, I tried to resist these fun little fidget spinners. Um, but I have a warehouse full of bearings. So we have a lot of fun with these things around here, and we started building them out of zip ties. Um, when we watched a cool little 14 year old put one of these together in about three minutes with no problem. Uh, and we said, we can do that. And so after about 20 minutes of cussing, we finally figured it out. Uh, and we said, man, that kid did a good video. Should we even bother doing one? Um, but we thought we could do something better because well, I run a skate shop, so I have really cool stuff like YOLO ceramic bearings that I can play with. And so we're going to make the fastest fidget spinner uh, we've ever made here, at least uh, today, and show you guys how to do it at home. So if uh, you're like any of our other skaters, you've probably got uh, old bearings sitting around. You can clean them up, make some fun toys for yourself, or, or tell people it's for the kids. Um, anyway, let's uh, see how to do it, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, all you're gonna need is uh, nine zip ties. You choose the color. And you're gonna need a good pair of snips to uh, trim them nice and tight with. Scissors will work. I prefer these, makes it a little bit easier. Uh, something that is going to measure in centimeters. And of course, your bearings. We're using the YOLO ceramic bearings because, well, we're in a skate shop, so I can make things like that. <laughs> you can use your old bearings. If you want to get just a budget pair of a set of bearings, they'll all work just fine. Um, but we're gonna use these and see how fast they go. So, what we are going to do first is we are going to make that triangle that's gonna be the outside of that. So if you're choosing your colors, just remember that this first part is gonna be the outside. And we're gonna put these all at about eight to nine centimeters apart on the inside. All right, once you have that made, you're gonna take and just kind of test fit it. Get your bearings in there. Now you're gonna take another set of three zip ties and you're gonna use these to secure them at the corners while you work on them. You can cut them off later if you like or you can leave them on, it's entirely up to you. Starting to form the perimeter here. Now what we're going to do is take our other three zip ties and just start to get them into place. Don't tighten them down too much. You're going to slowly tighten everything together. At this point, you may want to just keep your fourth bearing handy to start playing around and making sure that everything's going to fit together the way that you want it to. After fiddling and cussing around a little bit, you're gonna end up with something that generally looks like this, and now you're starting to see how it's taking shape. We're gonna have that in the center there. So what we're gonna do now is start slowly decreasing the size of the outside. So it starts to fit together about where we want it. You can tighten up some of these middle ones too as you're starting to see slack. Now 
now you're starting to see the shape of it. So at this point, go ahead and just tighten everything until there's no give. Make sure that all the bearings are straight in there when you tighten them, and that'll make sure that it gets the best fit. Very last, after you tighten the exterior, tighten down these center bands, get them squeezed nice into their own little pockets tightly. All right, we're starting to have it here. So take your snips. functional little thing. You can go through and trim all these little sharp spots and like I said you can take off of these supporting ones and they will stay in there. If you drop them they'll drop out they pop right back in. Or you can leave them on if you like. It's entirely up to you. 